Thinking about living off just rare retirement? You need to watch this video. Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors, and today we're going to talk about um, you know railroad retirement income. Is that sufficient enough just to fund your uh, lifestyle in retirement? So I got this uh, thinking about doing this video because I saw somewhere on um, I don't know a statistic about Social Security, and 40% of Americans that's their sole source of income in uh, retirement. So I said, oh, let me check how it compares to railroad retirement and if you can, if, it is, if it's enough. So I thought that was a really high number, 40%, by the way. So I thought I'd go through it. I, I you know, went through some of the railroad retirement board stats, some of the social security stats. So let's go through that. And then some of the concerns, if you're thinking, well, I've got my railroad retirement, I'm set for retirement. So here we go. So a career railroader, which is somebody who has 30 years of service, okay, retires at 60, their average um, is around a little over $4,000 a month that they have coming in, all right, assuming they have their, you know, at least 30 years, all right, and these numbers are from the Railroad Retirement Board and the Social Security Administration. Uh, a retired railroader is somebody who doesn't have 30 years, so they have some period, you know, maybe 10, 15 years, so part of that calculation is Social Security put in there and they would be uh, at $3,210 a month, all right? And then a Social Security person is around $1,650 a month. And wow, that is a lot lower. That's about 40% of that big number there, 4,000, maybe a little bit less. And uh, that is a really, really big jump there. So I was actually surprised about that. And then when you look at the 2022 numbers, uh, really the last full year, so a career railroader is now at 4560 and Social Security is around 2320. So that, you know, that's about double of, of that. And then you throw in your spousal annuities on top of that. So gets you thinking if 40% are living on Social Security, they're definitely living below, you know, the poverty line there. You can just do the simple math on that. But, uh, you know, 4,020, maybe if you're married, you get another half. That's uh, almost 6,000, uh, 6 times 12, $72,000 a uh, you know, about $70,000 a month uh, there if you're married coming into uh, uh, into the household. So depending upon, once again, everything's about depending upon your lifestyle. But remember, there's big things going on in retirement that have to be addressed. Just because you retire doesn't mean all the financial woes go away. So here are some of the concerns, right? Uh, the benefits are going to be losing buying power. Okay, what do I mean by that? Inflation. It's always constantly coming. Right? Inflation never goes away. You've seen lately it's coming under control. Well, it's just adding on what we already had. It's not like bringing prices back down. They're just not growing as fast. However, they're still growing. All right. So tier one or social security, basically the same thing with the calculations, has lost about 40% of its purchasing power since 2000. So that means the, the, the rate that uh, the, the tier one or social security benefits gone up have not really keeping up with the price of goods and services going forward. I mean, just, just imagine like healthcare, okay, right? Healthcare's been increasing a lot uh, quicker than inflation. So uh, that's something you want to be concerned about if you're thinking of just living off your railroad retirement, right? It might not stay uh, up. So, right, and then benefits uh, cuts could be looming for social security. All right, Social Security is supposed to be, you know, depleted in 2035, so they have to come up with a way to adjust that. What are the effects that's going to have on railroad retirement? We don't know that yet, okay? Um, because, you know, if you're just a retired railroader, right, somebody who's, uh, uh, the Tier 1's going to be part Social Security, part railroad retirement benefits, right, that, that could cut into your uh, number there. So. Uh, that's something that will have to be addressed, and you know I'll do future videos as soon as we learn more. And then finally, um, those expenses that I mentioned earlier, though you could be facing more expenses as you age. Health care and long-term care, probably the two big uh, possible tsunamis out there that could really hurt a uh, hurt a uh, retirement, and you know the. Uh, that might not just be enough. But anyway, I thought this was interesting. I saw the stat about Social Security. You know, railroaders are, you know, double of what Social Security people are, especially the career railroaders. Uh, the retired railroaders, you know, they're doing well too. So, yeah, it's possible. It depends upon where you want to live. That's the final answer. 
everything's possible, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe give you something to think about, show you really that power of railroad retirement, how, how really good it is, especially if you could do it as a career. All right, so I hope you found this video useful. If you're at or near retirement, you need some help with this, right? Understand what your uh, re railroad retirement is going to be and the other resources to bring to bear. Book one of those boarding for railroad retirement uh, process meetings, really good stuff there. All right, share this video, click on the notification bell to get the uh, latest. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.